Okay, uh, it's roughly, I don't know, about 45 minutes after I did the initial test on this. Uh, apparently, I, I don't know if the inverter kind of settled itself out. It's kind of hard to unplug that fridge at this point. But uh, apparently to maintain uh, temperature on the fridge really doesn't take a lot of power. It's reading 100 watts off the inverter. Um, and it was reading 188. So, you know, maybe once everything's warmed up, it uses less power. Um, got a, a popsicle that's frozen off of solar power entirely at this point for, uh, for testing purposes. I also, uh, I did two popsicles. I stuck one in the microwave and uh, cooked it just to see how quickly it would melt and boil. Um, now this is supposedly 950 watt microwave and it was not really pumping full power. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. And then when I was running this, um, you're not supposed to run it with something in it. Alright, there, you can hear that. Okay, watch. When you turn it on, it, it, you'll see the light inside. It's like it goes, it turns on fully, and then it stays on at kind of a lower power. There, see how it did the two-step thing? And then uh, when it's running, it, it does that uh, 1200, 1300, it, it, it's like it, it's using, uh, I think maybe 1400 watts to turn on and then 1200 to stay on, definitely more than 950, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, maybe it's time for a new microwave, um, the way this was originally set up, it would plug into grid power back here, um, when the trailer's plugged in, but right now I'm just testing stuff like this. And, uh, yeah, I'll stuff all this back in, but it's it's going to be power strips like this to, you know, run AC type stuff. I, I'm going to have to maybe drill a hole or something and run it back here for the computer equipment. But I've got another trick up my sleeve for the computer equipment that uh, you folks will probably think is very cool. It's very low dollar. Somebody turned me on to it, and... Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be able to run uh, computer equipment basically off of a um, my option on whether it's a separate or tied in battery system that is uh, self-charging, pretty cool, and uh, probably available in your town for less than a regular one of these uh, pure sine wave inverters and fully certified for use with uh, computer equipment. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to pick these things up really cheap.